Today we're going to do a quick video on how to install Mac OS X 10.5 Leopard from a USB flash drive. Now I wanted to make this video because originally I had a little bit of trouble uh, getting this to work for myself and after a little bit of trial and error and some research online uh, I figured out what seems to work every time. So uh, first of all, I'm not going to tell you where to get your copy of the ISO for 10.5 because you should really only be installing this uh, if you own a copy, but it's not hard to find online. And you're also going to need another computer running Mac OS X at least version uh, 10.3, I believe, and here I'm using 10.4.11 on my PowerBook. And of course, we're gonna need a USB flash drive, and your flash drive needs to be uh, at least eight gigabytes, and you'll see why in just a moment. Uh, but first thing is, obviously, we need to plug this in. And then once it's plugged in, we'll open up our disk utility. And the real trick here is in how we format our flash drive. So here we have the whole 30 gig flash drive uh, called flashy, and that is in an MS-DOS file system FAT32. So the important thing is that we're going to have to repartition this and we're going to have to make sure it's Apple partition map. And then the second thing we have to do is change the partition scheme uh, to two partitions. And it doesn't really matter what you name it. So I'll just call this leopard. So first partition needs to be Mac OS extended journaled. And then the size needs to be about the size of a dual layer DVD, but at least big enough to hold the entire ISO. So for Leopard, I used 7.7 .7 gigs and that worked. So that's what I'm gonna recommend. And then the other one, we don't have to worry about this partition. And then this will take a little while because this is a USB 1.1 interface. Okay, so once it's finished partitioning, you should have two partitions here. Here's our leopard partition and then just untitled two, which uh, we don't care about. So the next step is going to be clicking on restore. So highlight your uh, partition that you're gonna put the installer on. So that's our leopard partition here. Uh, and click Restore. And then we're going to drag the Leopard partition down to where it says Destination. And then we're going to drag our ISO to Source. And then we're simply going to click Restore. And this is going to take a long time because we are on, uh, again, a USB 1.1 interface and it's copying like seven something gigs of data across. So best leave this for a couple hours. But I'm not going to make you wait a couple hours because I've got a flash drive I have previously prepared. Uh, so let's see what it's like to boot up with this. So it doesn't matter which USB port you put this into. Uh, it's going to work the same no matter what. And then we're going to do a restart. And as soon as you hear the chime, hold down the option key. And that's going to bring us to our boot selection menu. 
And if everything went correctly, after a few seconds, we'll pop up uh, untitled or in, uh, it would have been leopard if we used the disc I was making before, but here, this previous one, I just called untitled one, doesn't matter what it's called. And then we can select that to boot from, and then click on this arrow, and then it's gonna boot our installer. And just a warning, this boot is gonna take a while to finish. And there we are. We are now booted into the installer and we can do our install process as if we were on a CD, or a DVD rather. Uh, but unlike running it from a DVD, again, this is going to take forever to install. So you're gonna leave this sit for probably two hours or so just because USB 1.1 is very slow. I hope this has helped you if you wanna install Leopard and you don't have the install medium or maybe your medium got damaged. Uh, you can install on these G4 and G3 systems using just USB and it works just fine. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and I'll See you in the next video.